Anatomists use precise directional terms, and when referring to position on a limb, instead of using superior and inferior, the directions are given as proximal if moving towards the attached origin of that limb or of a specific bone in the limb, or distal uh, when moving away from that origin or attachment point. One of the reasons to use proximal and distal instead of, say, superior and inferior is the difference with quadrupedal animals compared to bipedal humans. Not only could one refer to proximal and distal on the entire arm, where proximal would be the shoulder attachment of the arm, while distal would be the fingertips, or proximal and distal of the leg, where proximal uh, is uh, the hip attachment and distal would be the toes. One could also then refer to ind individual bones. So on the humerus, the proximal end is where it attaches at the shoulder, and its distal end is where it attaches at the elbow. For the bones of the forearm, their proximal end is their attachment point at the elbow, and their distal end would be at the wrist. For the femur, the proximal end would be at the hip, the distal end would be at the knee, while the bones of the lower leg, their proximal ends would be at the knee, and their distal ends would be at the ankle. An image could be labeled that this is, say, the proximal end of the humerus, or that the surgical neck of the humerus is distal to the anatomical neck. One could say that this is an image of the proximal end of the femur, or one could say that the gluteal tuberosity is distal to the trochanters, and the trochanters are distal to the neck. One of the reasons that anatomy students study specific skeletal landmarks is that when they study the muscular system, they memorize the origins, which are the muscle attachment sites, which tend to be more fixed, and the insertions, the muscle attachment sites, which tend to be more mobile. And in general, when one refers to the limbs, the origins are located at the proximal ends of limbs or bones, while the insertions are located distally.